This is Shimmer here with Shimmer Eye Gaming, and welcome back to uh, Time Hollow. We're going to continue where we left off on Chapter 4. Uh, I hope I have enough time. This is going up today, so yeah. Alright. So we got a few things to deal with. We have to figure out out to you too. All right, let's go ahead and head downstairs. Where is? It's just a chair, but where is our uncle? I said he's locked. Guess Uncle Derek never found out I was in there. Hmm. Well, I guess we can leave. We gotta go to school, don't we? There we go. All locked up. Okay. I don't appreciate it when he does that kind of stuff. I think I don't think we have anywhere else that we can go, so Uncle Derek and Irving graduate from the school too. Yes indeed. Corey. Ethan? Oh, good morning. Say, maybe Cord knows something about it. Is there really such a thing as an unchangeable past? Hey, Corey. Is this about yesterday's pictures? So you do know something. Ethan, did you kill that woman? <laughs> Wait a minute now. I tried to save her. It's just that... Don't lie. If you tried to save her, why are the pictures always the same? I don't know why. She should have been rescued. Is that the truth? I don't know how to save her. Ethan, good morning. Oh. School starting. Let's continue this conversation after class. Yeah, sure. Why would you suspect something like that of me? Eh, hey, Molly got good intentions. Hey, wait a second. Ethan? Emily? Heck, Emily, what are you crying for? Sorry, girls. When I get a spare moment, I'll listen to what you have to say. Do we make her cry? I'm sorry. So anyway, about that. If what you say is true, why don't you give... Why don't you give my way of think, doing things a try? What's your way? I pull people through the hole from their time into ours. Are you serious? It's not without its problems, but it's better than not saving them at all. What kind of problems? Those who travel through the hole are left out of the flow of time. Left out, eh? So that means someone must have pulled Cory through way back when, and now she's out of time? Say, Corey, do you know a man named Irving? What? N now, wait a minute. The one who pulled you through, it could have been... Irving? No, it wasn't him. It wasn't? No, it was actually... <laughs> well, I, I know that noise pretty well. What? 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 Ooh, is this my house? But what happened to, to it? What happened? No, I'm so confused. I've got to think, figure out exactly what happened. Oh yeah, that flashback I had a while back. This is foreboding and I don't like it. A new memory at my house. I'm living alone here. What? What? I don't know when this is. It looks the same as always. First mom and dad, then Uncle Derek. Now I'm the only one left here. What? What? That's Uncle Derek. Isn't it? Isn't this Kronos? Does Uncle Derek have any ties to Kronos? I should go see what they have to say. Never know what I might hear. Uh, 
this flashback could it be? Shoot. What has happened? The bed's different. Maybe a little different? There's no bookcase here. How huh, something's not right here? Yeah, um, that's my trash can, all right. Okay. The room's changed significantly, sir. There's no thingy here. Ugh, crap. Uncle Derek, hey Uncle Derek! Did, did he disappear too? Think, I've gotta think. Gotta get my head straight. Did Irving do this? But why? For what purpose? Well, there's no longer a door here. I don't know what to say. The, the study, it's gone. Am I the only one who ever uses this table? We gotta get going, dude. Dad built this house a long time ago. My name's the only one here. Shoot, I don't know where to start. Uh, Kronos, Kronos, let's go to Kronos. Corey. She's looking at the Kronos sign, what's up? Ethan, save him. Save your uncle. Please. I think I know who changed this past. You do? Really? Can't you tell me? I... Uh, not right now. Just please, save your uncle. She knows something. Hey, look! Remember that hourglass that we saw? It's the same one as the chrono sign. That's kind of cool. I was about to talk to the owner here. Want to come, come with me? Okay, if you don't mind. Maybe I can ask her a couple questions, too. Welcome, sit anywhere you like. Er, okay. Ben and the rest of the gang are nowhere to be found. Here you are, two copies. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Corey's sitting here. I feel kind of anxious for some reason. What are you doing here? Huh? Haven't I seen him before? Yeah. Eva looks awfully busy. Nothing special here. This is where he was sitting. Looking for the restroom? Oh, um, no, I'm fine. No Olivia, no Ben, no Vin. No one's here. I guess you guys don't have a place to hang out in this world, huh? Enjoy. Um, excuse me? Yes, can I help you? Can I ask you something? Does she know my uncle? Do you know Derek Kairos? How, how do you know that name? Jackpot. What do you know about him? Tell me something, anything, please. Maybe we should have a little chat. I got this cafe pretty cheap through an acquaintance. But there's more to the story, right? I mean, since Derek was murdered and all. Why was he murdered? How do you figure into this, if I may ask? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Ethan Kairos. Derek was my uncle. Eva doesn't remember me. I guess I've never been here. Ah, so you're family. And who's this young lady? Oh, I'm... Do you mind if she sits in on our conversation? I can tell you what I've heard. I hope it won't upset you. No, not at all. <sighs> Shoot, he's dead. Derek's the one who started, that started this place up. It opened 14 years ago. Yep, on 5-1. After it opened, though, it just never took off. Some people even say that the grand opening was sabotage. 
I heard no one came on that first day, and Derek had a lot on his mind that night. Apparently that's what got him involved with loan sharks. Really? This is all news to me. But somehow he managed to pay all that money back. He sold his cafe and did who knows, did who knows what else to come up with the cash. I think it was around that time that Derek became a writer. Yes, that's right. Derek was killed, let's see. It would have been about two years after he sold this place. Seriously? By whom? I don't know. I did hear it had nothing to do with the cafe. So I heard, anyway, but Derek had racked up a lot of debt. I was so afraid the debt collectors would come here, too. Oh, I see. The fellow who built this place, right? I've never met him, though. I heard that he was mur murdered some 12, 12 years? That's when... So Uncle Derek started this cafe. First I'd heard of it. And then someone killed him. Thank you very much. I'm sorry it was such a strange story in the end. No, I'm glad we talked. Can I ask you one more question? Sure, what is it? Why is this place named Kronos? Ah, yes, that's been its name since the very beginning. In Greek mythology, Kronos was the personification of time. Well, aren't you clever? That's exactly right. It was Derek's idea. I liked the name, so I never changed it. Oh, okay, I see. Thank you. I never knew that. Uncle Derek must have been a pretty smart cookie. Wow, really? <laughs> Lame. That's about all I know. Sorry, it's nothing too interesting. No, it's fine. Thank you very much. Come by for coffee again sometime. I will. So Uncle Derek's dead. It must have been Irving. Ethan? Yeah. Help your uncle, okay? Hey, wait. There she goes. This is terrible. How could Uncle Derek have been murdered? This past, it's horrible. I've got to get more information on poor Uncle Derek. Kronos was founded by none other than Uncle Derek. Uncle Derek founded Kronos way back when, but business never got up to speed, but we don't have a name for it. Okay. Shoot. Yes, yes, yes. What do I do? What am I supposed to do? Vin. Hmm, what? Oh, I just never thought I'd see you here. It's not like I had anywhere else to go. Yeah, well, I kind of like this place. But don't you wish there was some place nearby we could all hang out together? Now that you mention it, that would be nice. Vin's spacing out. I'll leave him alone. The ocean's right there. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I don't. Ben. Hey, Ethan, can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? So I found this really gorgeous girl, okay? Ah, uh, quit looking at me like that. Forget it. Forget I said anything. I wasn't, honestly. Really? Alright, then I'll tell you a little more. You see... 
Oh, never mind. It would just be wasted on you anyway. Hey, wait a sec. I'm going home. Goodbye. So darude. That Ben, he'll never change. Gotta explore everything, right? But darn, I didn't expect... I wouldn't have expected it. Why? Because he knew too much? I think I know he had to... Socks. Hey, Socks, I didn't know you liked to wander around here. Huh? That light, could it be? Where does Socks find these things, anyway? Good, that'll help me out. Give me some more time. Whoa. Hey, I feel a little lighter, maybe. Good cat. Socks? Where'd he go? Probably back home. It's good that I found him, though. Who knows how much I'm going to need to use the pen this time around. I don't think I can do anything here. The ocean's right below the road here, but I'm not laying too far. Meh. Yeah. Hey, it's Ashley and oh Ethan hey there come to study at the library too no not exactly well don't you think you should don't want to end up with my dumb old brother after all wow oh Ashley <laughs> just kidding see you later Ethan oh or goodbye okay bye now you know I was kind of hoping to mm, see they haven't changed thank goodness Maybe Morris has the... No, Morris isn't here. Pardon me, but could I look at some old newspaper articles? Back issues, right? What would you like for me to look up for you? There was a murder somewhere between 12 and 3 years ago. The victim's name was Dr. Derek Kairos. One moment, please. There's one match. I'll copy it for you. Obtain article, Derek's murder. Journalist murdered. This is it. December 5th, 12 years ago. So the body was discovered at 1035 the morning of December 5th. This is the incident I saw in my flashback. Was it after mom and dad went missing? It doesn't look like they caught whoever did it. Kairos was avidly investigating the Keiko bus accident until his death. Doesn't say anything about money. If money wasn't the motive, was. If it had something to do with the accident, could Irving have been involved? I don't know. It happened in the next town over. Along the route of the bus that had the accident, Uncle Derek was quite the investigator. I can go there now if I take a train. The police were investigating the memo he had on him, eh? Wonder what that memo's about. Hmm. Thanks, Sarah. I can't exactly do much. This must be after all his loans must have been repaid. Was Uncle Derek killed while looking into the bus accident? Yep, you get it. it. Scene of Uncle Derek's murder. 12-596, a.m. Near a bus stop in the t next town. Uncle Derek's been murdered. It looks like he was investigating a bus accident. But I am curious about the memo he had on him. 
What, so we're gonna steal from a crime scene? I don't think so. Ugh, we have to go back to the station, but I just need to check a few things. How's it going, Ethan? Not skimmy meals, are you? Oh, Mr. Twombly. What's on your mind? You can ask me anything. Come on now, don't be shy. Actually, I think I'm doing okay right now. All right then, but thank you for offering. I mean it, Ethan. Feel free to talk to me about anything. No, really, Mr. Twombly. It's, I'm fine. Really? Then I guess I'll be heading home. See you later. Goodbye. Thank goodness he didn't ask me any weird questions. I hate when he does that. We're just exploring every place that we can. Oh, no, I saw socks! Get back your socks. Hello, socks. Hey, socks, I didn't know you like to wander around here. Blah, blah, blah. Get ourselves another light thing. And it goes into our pen because reasons. Bye, socks. useful to explore. You gotta get all the secrets and stuff. Plus, I needed that. Where did Cory go? I know where I'm supposed to go. Don't get mad at me. Okay. We're gonna go Aeon real quick because I think Irving had something to do with Uncle Derek getting killed. I don't appreciate that man. Stop meddling with with things. I I meddled too, but it's closed. Closed. Where could have Ir that Irving gone? Where could that Irving have gone? Where could have that jerk have gone? God, I hate him. All right, all we need to take a station bus. I guess I should go check out where Uncle Derek was murdered. Yeah, sure, why not? Wow, that was a lot closer than I expected. Let's see, it should be right around here. Sure. Might be somewhere around here. No. Stop it. Okay, fine. I did it wrong. What's Uncle Derek got there? Whoa. He did let us poke around his store and all, and I guess I should go through the motions. Here you go. I wrote this note. I gave this note to Irving. Irving, what are you up to? This is the station, eh? 
I wonder if the past has changed so that I've never been to that neighboring town. Oh, well, we just got the same flashback. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Go home, I guess? How long is this part? Oh my gosh. I guess we go home for now. I don't know what else to do. Or do we go see Irving? Uncle Derek. Here, have some coffee. The cafe. If Uncle Derek had been able to keep running Kronos, if Kronos had thrived, maybe he would have wouldn't have been murdered. You know, if I can't undo Uncle Derek's murder, I'll just have to change what happens before it instead. I'll ask around about Kronos tomorrow. What did you want to ask us? It's about that cafe not far from here. Uncle Derek's at Kronos. Okay. If Kronos is successful. The man sitting at the counter is my Uncle Derek. Ugh. How to make the cafe popular, eh? Offer free refills. That'd do it for me. Sounds good. Thanks. I'll write that down. Something to make people go to a ca that cafe, hmm. A pretty waitress would probably attract a good sized crowd. Sounds good, thanks. Idea memo. Well, we're going to Kronos. Need my advice? Uh, no, not really. Actually, let me ask him about the cafe. Mr. Twombly, what's the best way for a cafe to succeed? What's that, a cafe? That's right, a friend of mine owns this cafe that's not doing too well, you see. What is it with you Kairos boys and cafes? Your late uncle had a cafe for a while, didn't he? Yes, he did. And that's the one I want to ask about. Although, I think it would take too long to explain. Let's see, the ingredients for a successful cafe. I'd love to hear any ideas you might have. Hmm. Er, er, Mr. Twombly? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. Oh, or that's alright. Sorry to bring such a weird question on you like that. I don't think I'll bother writing that one down. But feel free to come to me for any for advice on any other subject, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Later. Thanks for the helpful advice. Ay, ay. I think you need to look out for the cat now. Socks is helpful. Okay. We are going to do something to help out our dear... Welcome. The pen's glowing. Yes. Stop it. Now we're cooking. Uncle Derek's looking at a handwritten flyer. What's this? Carlos is a hotbed of corruption. Keep it out of our town? There are a bunch of flyers all saying the same thing. I'm willing to bet Irving is behind this, too. Come on, Uncle Derek, don't let this stand in your way. Please let this memo do the trick. Okay.
Nothing changed. It's not good. I need more info. What? Um, I couldn't help but notice that you come here a lot. What about it? Shouldn't I? No, I just have a little survey here following customer opinion. Pretty nice excuse, if I do say so myself. For example, what could a different owner do to help this cafe thrive? What, there's going to be a different owner? Is something wrong? Er, no, nothing at all. Alright, then enjoy yourself. Phew. I'm sorry, that was just an example of what if. She don't scare me like that. She's the only reason I come here. Huh? I happen to love cafes with female staff members. You mean... Well, you can't very well relax in a place that's nothing but middle-aged men, can you? I see. Interesting. I guess I'll write that down. Sounds great. Thanks, Aaron. Say, how do you know my name? Or the owner told me. That Eva sure is a chatterbox. Okay. So we need to get more ideas. Heck, let's go by the library. <clears throat> Emily and Ashley are usually there. Not here. But maybe we could ask Sarah. Oh, Ben, what the? What's up, dude? Whoa, what's up, Ethan? What's up with you? What are you doing here at the library? All right, fine, I'll tell you. This is just between, oh no. Sure, you see that girl working at the desk there? Sarah, what about her? Hey, how do you know her name? Listen, pal, I saw her first. Then her name is right there on her desk. What? Oh, well, that's all right then. So she's the reason you borrow all those books, eh? All oh, really difficult ones, too. Hey, they just happen to have a good, lot of good books here. Bingo. Don't even think about horning in on this, Kairos. I've got a good thing going here. Haha, <laughs> wouldn't dream of it. You'd better not. Alright, I'm headed home now. Bye. Wow, good for him. He did say he liked pretty girls, and Sarah sure is qualified. Maybe I better emphasize that point in those cafe ideas of mine. Always cool, calm, and collected. She's not going to give me anything. Okay. If I could find Emily and Ashley, that would help. Everything's still gone, but we got a cat. Yeah, just give me the thing. Yes. Okay, it's so close, but we got what we needed. All right, let's go by Vin's house real quick. See what he's going on. There's Ashley. Hey, Ethan. Oh, Ashley. Vin's not back yet. Probably hang out somewhere or other. Gotcha. See, Ashley hasn't changed. Vin's become a world-class slacker. Tell him to cut it out. Tell him he, he'll get fat if he just sits around all day every day. Um, sure. He's totally given up on basketball by now. Yeah, he quit the team, didn't he? It's because of the injury from when he was a kid. Huh? Don't you remember? He fell off a ladder when a rung collapsed. He was trying so hard not to cry. It must have hurt like crazy. What ladder was this? Heck, if I know. Didn't you guys build a secret hideout once upon a time? Must have been that ladder then. The ladder to our hideout? It had a rickety, rickety rung. Vin must have come down on that. He fell and hurt his hip, and that was the end of basketball for him. Really. But listen, this is just between us, okay? Who knows what he'd do to me if he found out I told you his weakness. Sure thing, I won't tell a soul. Uh, 
not sure I secret how maybe I can shore it up with some string but we don't have string right now that's a problem oh my gosh oh No cat here. We don't have any string, do we? No. We don't, so... Morris, good. Hey, Ethan. Hi, you working? More or less. I should ask Morris if he has any ideas for helping Kronos. Say, Morris, can I ask you something? How to improve business at a cafe, eh? This friend of mine owns a cafe that's not doing so well. So, I don't know what kind of place it is, but what really matters is the atmosphere. Atmosphere, huh? Around here, the only place you can really sit and read a while is the library. I like some place where we can have more casual study sessions. I see, some place good for casual study. More sure likes to study. All set? Yep, thanks a lot. Sorry to bug you while you're working. No problem, see you later. Whew, okay, do you think that's enough? If it is, it's Olivia and she's muttering to herself. Hmm, aren't there any nice cafes around here? A neighborhood place, really one that's hiring. Looking for work, I see. Not gonna help me. All right, let's go ahead and try this again. Because there's nobody else we can talk to. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Great. <laughs>